guys, welcome to the start of this year's holiday card series. I do this series every year and I've actually created a playlist that I'm going to link above that you can check out to view all of the previous cards that I've done in the previous years. I'm just using a cold pressed watercolor paper and I've cut the piece of paper in half and then folded that in half to create a card shape and then I've taped that down onto a board. I wanted to start by creating a flat wash. So I've mixed up a little bit of Indian red with a good amount of water to create a really nice watery sort of reddish pinkish color. And you'll notice that I am tilting the paper down a little bit just because I want gravity to kind of help me create that blended smooth transition for the flat background. I did find this to be a little bit too light for my liking so I just went back in once that first layer was dry and I applied another coat of that same color. I'm going to let that dry and now I'm going to start working on the actual design of the card. So I had this idea to create three different ornaments sort of hanging randomly in the center of the card and I wanted them to be different styles of ornaments. I also wanted this to have more of an illustrated look so I am going to be doing sort of a more solid looking paint job. Um, it's not really going to have that super soft watercolor feel. I wanted this to be more bold. So I'm just going to start out by creating the first shape and it's going to be one of those bell shaped ornaments. I'm just freehanding this, but definitely feel free to use a pencil first if you're not comfortable with freehanding the shapes. I'm using that same red color and I'm just creating the bell shape. And then I'm filling it in as I go. I'm using my Wonder Forest number four brush here. These brushes are back in stock now. I'm gonna link them below as always. So I like to create the outline and then I like to just fill it in with um, a mixture of water and the paint. Again, I want this to be bold so I am using less water and more paint to make it more concentrated. This card is gonna kind of have an old school, retro, sort of whimsical feel when we're done. And you'll see it all come together when I add the final details. Also, when I do these card series videos, I do try to take into account that a lot of you are beginners and sometimes you want your children um, or kids to be able to create their own cards as well. So I do try to make these pretty simple, but I always give you room to sort of add your own flair. Okay, so with that first ornament shape done, I'm going to create a second shape and I wanted this one to be your standard round ball. Um, I'm not too good at freehanding circles, so I just grabbed something that was round and about the right size, this being the inside of my washi tape and I've just lightly traced that on using a colored pencil. I'm going to be using indigo for this one and again I'm using just a little bit of water and a lot more of the paint to create a really bold color. So I'm just going to be following that outline that I had created and just filling this in as usual. Another thing to keep in mind when you do this project is that you can decorate your ornaments however you like. You can copy the ones that I end up creating or just feel free to do whatever you want to your own. <laughs> As always, all of the supplies that I use are going to be listed in the description box below. You guys, I always include these. People ask me in the comments what I've used and it's always, always listed in the description. Okay, so moving on to the third and final ornament. This one I wanted to be sort of that classic um, ornate ornament shape. I don't know how to explain it, but basically I've taken a smaller circumference circle object and I've traced that and then I'm going to create sort of this little um, uh, pointed top to the uh, on the top <laughs> if that makes sense <laughs> and then another little pointed area at the bottom it's hard to see the pencil right now but you'll totally understand what I mean after I paint this I wanted to stick with the same kind of color family so I grabbed a little bit of turquoise and mixed in a bit of that indigo with it and I'm creating sort of this lighter, um, more turquoisey blue color. And I'll just start by outlining some of that circle that I had traced on. And you can see here what I meant by that sort of pointy top. I have absolutely no idea what this shape is called. Um, so if you know, let me know in the comments because it is super hard to explain.
and then just finishing the bottom of this ornament, bringing that to a nice little tip as well. So here is what it's looking like. These are the basic shapes that I'm going to start illustrating off of. But first, these ornaments need little loops so that we can hang them. So I'm just going to take the same colors that I used for the ornaments and I'm just going to create little circles on the tops of each. I did decide to skip the red one because I want to do something different on that one. I'm actually going to attach a bow to the top of that one. So we'll just leave that one without a hook for now. And now we're going to add a little bit of greenery. So I'm using oxide of chromium and it is a very pigmented green color. This is from the Windsor and Newton professional watercolor line. And it's almost like a gouache consistency. Um, if you don't add a lot of water to it, it is so nice to work with. So I'm just deciding where I want to place those little bits of greenery and I'm still keeping in tune with this whole retro style and keeping this really really simple basically just pulling out some long um, stems from each of these green pieces i'm also making sure to keep the tips of these rounded a lot of the time when i do leaves and things like that the tips are a little more pointy and i really wanted this to be roundy and just more whimsical as i said earlier so I'm just placing some of those little sprigs behind some of the ornaments. And then on the blue one, I wanted to attach some to the actual um, string or wire that's going to hold up this ornament. So I'm just kind of estimating right now where that little string is going to go. And I'm imagining where the leaves would be placed. So you can see that I've just left a little blank space here. That's going to be where I'm going to draw in the actual string. I'm just going to grab my number five micron pen and really simply, I'm just going to create the lines that are going to hang the ornaments. Now, my first idea here was to use the white Posca pen to create the bow on the red bell. Um, but you'll see that I didn't like how that was turning out. I found it to be a little bit too light on that light background. So I decided that since this is Christmas and holidays, I would use my core watercolors iridescent gold watercolor paint. I love this paint. I've used it in a bunch of my other holiday card series videos and I love how it turns out. So once again, I'm just using that whimsical style and creating this little bow at the top of the bell. The nice thing about this gold too is the more you layer it, the more opaque it becomes. So you can always feel free to just add another layer if something looks a little bit too translucent for your liking. I wanted to carry that gold throughout the piece, so I'm just creating that little metallic piece that's usually at the top of ornaments as well. I've just kind of scalloped the edge on that bottom ornament. And now we can dive into the Posca pen. If you don't have a Posca pen or a paint pen, I highly recommend you get one. They are so nice for using with watercolor, especially because they're so opaque. I'm just creating little swirly bits along some of these and then some straight lines. Again, keeping in with that really sort of old school whimsical feel, which really means like really simple designs um, that are just fun. I wanted to do more of a snowflake pattern on the bottom ornament here. And I really like how this one turned out. I think the white complements each of these ornaments really nicely. And again, pulling in some of that gold to that last ornament. So each ornament has a little bit of gold on it. I just added a couple little polka dots. So that is all there is to this card. I really, really like how this one turned out. I tend to really enjoy simpler looking cards like this, like a flat looking illustrated card. So I have a lot of fun creating this and I hope that you guys have fun creating it as well. If you do create it, definitely tag me on Instagram so I can check it out. Feel free as well to leave a comment and let me know what you would like to see in this upcoming holiday card series. And also give the video a like because it helps out the channel a lot and lets more people see my videos. If you're not subscribed, of course, I would love for you to subscribe and hit that little bell notification so that you're notified every time I post.
Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.